I recently announced that I'm going to be starting up a new YouTube channel, and while that is very exciting, it is also not going to be very cheap. The startup costs are already starting to build, so what I intend to do is find some items that I can sell quickly, get some profits, and help to pay for this venture. In this video, we're going to be going through my collection right back here, finding items that I either just have no intention of using, that I have duplicates of, and just picking out some things that I can get rid of. Stick around, let's go through it next. ATL Resell Guy. So I've looked through a little bit and I've already determined a few things that I'm ready to sell off and get rid of. I know right off the bat, this PlayStation 4 dual controller charger, Power A, should be able to sell that. I know I have a lot of Guitar Heroes. World Tour, I know I've sold that a bunch. Legends of Rock I have as well. Guitar Hero 2. Yeah, Guitar Hero a lot. So we'll sell that off too. We've got LA Noir on both consoles. I kind of like that complete edition. It's not super high dollar. Oh, this stack of PSP games were kind of left over from the giveaway that I did. So we'll sell all those. We've got Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 3 as well as Xbox 360. I think I'll keep the Xbox 360 version. There's Fallout 3 Game of the Year and Fallout. We've got both Batman Arkham City and Arkham Asylum on both consoles. I've got three of them here actually. We'll sell them all. Def Jam Vendetta has good value. We'll sell that off. NCAA 14 has great value also, sell that guy. Got some consoles over here and I know I wanna sell this extra Xbox One console that I have. Let me pull that out. I've got an extra power supply for this. I've got two extra controllers as well. I've got some games that I can put with it. So I'll make a Facebook marketplace bundle with this and see if I can get a good little chunk of change. I really have no need for these Lego games. I'm not a huge fan of them. Somebody's definitely getting fired. So I'll sell a little bundle of these three. I've got Hitman Absolution on PS3 and also these two on Xbox. So I think I'll sell the PS3 version. Apparently I have two Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So I'll sell one of these. Just noticed I have Legacy of Cain on PlayStation 2, as well as original Xbox here. I think I'll sell the PlayStation 2. I've got Resident Evil 5 on PlayStation 3, as well as on Xbox. Sell the Platinum Hits here. This Lord of the Rings War in the North, I think has some decent value. Probably will never play this game, so we'll get rid of it. I have this Prince of Persia trilogy. Sands of Time, Warrior Within, Two Thrones. So any other Prince of Persia game, I can probably safely get rid of. These two right here. Two copies of Infamous. I think their greatest hits is gonna sell. Oh, and I almost forgot all these extra controllers. I keep my controllers in these drawers down here. As you can see, I got a ton of original Xbox and a ton of PlayStation 1 and 2. So these are just additionals that I don't really need. I've got this fat PlayStation 2 bundle that I got off Facebook Marketplace not too long ago with some controllers. There's some gems on the Super Nintendo. I'm just not really willing to part with these games quite yet. All right, I feel like that's a pretty good start. Pull out a bunch of games that I have no need for. I'll get it all together, put it into price charting, come up with some idea of how much all this stuff is worth to get an idea of how much money I can put towards the new YouTube channel. But wait, there's more. Went looking around in storage and stumbled upon a PlayStation 2 Slim with two controllers, power supply, AV, everything. A complete Super Nintendo as well. 
with some nice OEM controllers and a Nintendo Wii, the white version. This is actually one that I refurbished in some previous videos and just stored away in some boxes, some old accessories, the Duke, a couple Kinect cameras, some hard drives, just loose stuff that has just been sitting in a box. Don't need it. Let's sell it. I pulled this box out from storage because I want to bundle some games with this Xbox One here. I'll bundle the ones that I don't have duplicates for. So I didn't take the time to put everything into price charting. A lot of it I'm just going to sell on Marketplace to avoid fees. There's some higher dollar stuff that I'm going to sell on eBay. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Xbox is about a $12 game. Lord of the Rings is about a $11 game. Guitar Hero about a $12 game. Def Jam Vendetta on PlayStation 2, $28 game, and this is the heaviest hitter of them all, and the disc is in rough shape. Price charting has it at $108, I'll probably list it at about 70 or 80. And now for the consoles, got the PlayStation 2, it's valued at about $60. The Wii, which is valued at around 120. The Super Nintendo, about 85. And the PlayStation Slim, about 85 as well, and this, 500 gigabyte Xbox One. It's valued at a little over 100, around 120, especially once I put in controllers and games with it. There's a good bit of stuff that I didn't price chart, like this whole stack of games, these, these. I'm just gonna sell those locally for probably under $5. and ask about 15, 20 bucks for each stack or so. So let's call this maybe another $100. All in all, looking at everything that I pulled out of my collection and out of storage, I'm hoping to make about $800 before fees once it all sells. So there we go guys, that's how I plan on funding this next YouTube channel that I'm going to be creating very very soon. Just selling off some of the old video game stuff, there's no reason for me to just hang on to that. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below if you want to see future videos, and hit the bell so you'll get a notification for when they drop. Until next time, ATL Resale Guys, signing out. Oh,